An unusual discovery in Schenectady has led police to investigate this side yard on Page Street. This after a gardener found a jawbone buried in the ground. Police confirming the discovery of what they believe are human remains. And today they tell me they found even more bones. It's not your usual springtime dig. It's nuts. <laughs> It's nuts. This one involves investigators from state and Schenectady police sifting through the dirt after a woman prepping her yard on Thursday found this. The girl next door found a jaw. I said, a jaw? And she said, yes, yeah, a human jaw. And Schenectady police say it likely is a human jawbone. It's unexpected because she was back there digging up a garden so she could, you know, plant. Carol and Jeffrey Glover live right next door on the 500 block of Page Street. Their granddaughter snapped these photos of the discovery in the ground. I was like, well, holy, what's that? How, do you know how far she had to dig to? Not that far. She didn't even get that far. They had, it had teeth. It had teeth. Friday morning, police discovered more bone fragments at the site. Police say that some were animal bones, the others too small to tell right now. The experts at the state museum who are not involved in the investigation say it's usually easy to determine. Archaeologists or bioarchaeologists, you would be pretty, pretty quick at knowing what features to look for, even if the bone was broken, um, to be able to tell whether it was human. State police will run the DNA tests on the bone. Parts of teeth are really good at um, retaining their DNA. It's very disturbing because, you know, who would expect something like that to be found in the backyard? It could take investigators a few weeks to get to the bottom of where these bones came from. Once they do the DNA testing, they'll also have to determine how long those bones have been at the site. State scientists say that that can be done usually through carbon dating, but police say right now it's just too early to link this to anything. We will, of course, keep you updated. You can stay with News 10 both on air and online as we learn more about this unusual discovery.